Oh, what inspires an artist? Mm. Everything. You live in the world, you become open to it. You are ready to receive everything that comes towards you. And it's not about you kind of deciding, I shall make a work about X today. It's more like the world comes into you and this curiosity about stuff begins to shape you. That's the beginning of something. Swimming is so important to me. I don't think that I could think or feel so clearly about my work without swimming. It's my most creative time. In the rhythm of just, you know, stroke after stroke, questions that are rolling about inside of me are allowed to bubble up. So a thought comes up and another thought, they begin to float together. Right now, I'm doing this charred forest. So how did that work? Went for a swim. This phrase, charred forest, came up and I thought, okay, what's that about? And then I started to think of what I would do. So it's about dissolving these walls between you and the world. And so in that swim, inviting a kind of openness and a free association of stuff. At the end of the swim, I realised that I need to cut logs between three and a half and seven metres, that they need to be charred. OK, there's a Japanese method of charring. Oh, but what if I wanted to emulate something like stardust or something like that? What if we started to drill holes into the charred wood? I mean, go figure. It's just that all happens in a swim. I think materials are more important than ideas because materials will actually give you the ideas. I started out as a ceramicist, then I moved to painting. So I was intensely involved in painting for about 15 years and then all of a sudden I became curious about all this, these materials and so I started to work more sculpturally. So now some of my work I make quite massive bronze or stainless steel sculptures that are perforated. They kind of absorb light during the day and at night they become magical and sort of emit light back to the world. All materials actually have a story already inside of them. It's just about listening to that story. There is absolutely no way that I could work by myself on the Ouroboros, which is the snake swallowing its own tail for the National Gallery 40th anniversary. I mean, this is a massive sculpture, which is gonna be eight metres in diameter and almost five metres in height. Urban art projects allow me to play in this huge factory. It was a great source of inspiration to work with others. The ideas come because the capacity to make them has become available all of a sudden just like all walls were down. The thing about being an artist is it's not just one influence. It's how receptive you are to the world. I can't tell you how much I love living in this rainforest in the hinterlands of the Northern Rivers. Inspiration is always a curious question because is it literal or is it a sense that you absorb? My work is kind of both. So I'm looking around here. I've literally used the rain to help me make the marks. In this one, there's a whole series of interconnected concentric circles. Those circles will give a sense of push and pull. But underneath it is this extraordinary extraordinary shadow life and that to me is the quality of the spirit it's all the invisible things that are part of us that constitute what we are it's opening your heart out to being sensitive just to the beauty around you being grateful for that and just allowing that to work its magic
there's a lot of stuff going around in my mind, I guess in everybody's mind. But I found that meditation just helps me to kind of know the difference between what is just this stuff and what is essential to my life. For those who don't know anything about Zen, the work itself invites the audience to participate in this sense of connection. There's something, um, something humbling to know how small you are, but also something so empowering to know that my own smallness is absolutely connected to the vastness of everything. One of the methods of making work that are a direct expression of my Zen practice is the flung bronze. I had to put on this huge amount of protective gear. So we're talking about, say, 10 kilos of molten bronze. Pouring the bronze or splashing the bronze, it is just absolutely every single second being present. Present to the heaviness, the weight, where it wants to pour. You have to be in tune with that, otherwise disaster happens. Being an artist, everything matters. It is the meaning of your life. The requirement is, is that you open your whole soul to this, every second, every fragment of your existence. <laughs>